Hey everyone, I uh, hope you guys are all doing pretty good. I'm going to be doing a different type of video here. It's going to be actually reading out of the Bible. And uh, I'm going to be going through some of the, my favorite chapters of the whole Bible. And uh, this is actually going to be Psalms 91. And uh, we're going to be reading through it. It's only 16 verses, but I absolutely love this verse. It's about protection. It's about love. It's about just ultimately uh, how God takes care of us. So that's why I wanted to make this video. And uh, I will be putting up the verses because you can't kind of see it here on the video. But uh, Psalms 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So him that, uh, the person, the man or the woman that actually uh, gives themselves over to the Lord, they'll be able to abide under his shadow. And that's a great place to be protected. And this is actually what this chapter in Psalms is all about. It's about protection. It's about God's love towards us. I will say of the Lord, this is verse number two, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Verse number three. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. So uh, just if anything tries to get in your path or anyone tries to harm you, you'll be delivered from it. And number four is beautiful. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and thy buckler. So it's not saying that God is, uh, you know, some kind of uh, chicken or eagle or something like that. But it's just saying how... He compares himself to a hen that takes care of her little hatchlings. Um, just wonderful. And then he'll be your shield and buckler. So just a shield that protects you. And when you try to go about doing good stuff in life and just trying to do all, you know, a matter, just trying to live the right way, he'll protect you. He'll be there for you. So uh, let's go on to verse number five. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day. So if you're afraid of the dark and... Um, He'll always be your protection. You can go down and you can lay your hat, your head down, and go to sleep, and you'll be you'll be a okay. And then uh, number six, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Number seven, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. And then in verse number eight, uh, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward for of, of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and dragon shalt thou trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. That's absolutely wonderful, beautiful little words there. That God's going to be there for you in your, t your time of trouble. All you have to do is trust in him. So, uh, number 15 again. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. 16, the last verse. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So this is absolutely a wonderful, beautiful little passage where it talks about not everyone is consecrating themselves to the Lord, but those that do are actually going to always be protected by him. No matter what, he's going to love you, he's going to protect you, he's going to be there for you. And that's absolutely love this psalm. And this is a lot of people's favorite psalm in the Bible, 91. Uh, yeah, it's one of my most favorite, but I hope you guys see the goodness of the Lord in all, all, your, all your ways in, in your life, and that's my, that's my prayer for you guys. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is uh, Psalm 91. I'm going to be going through and doing different chapters, and I'm going to also be doing it in English and Spanish. So, yeah, guys, uh, just hang on, and everything will be all right. It just puts a big smile on my face. It's just, you can't help but smile once, you know, you start reading the Bible and saying, wow. He really does take care of you. And then you start seeing evidence in your own life when things are, and people are trying to do wrong for you. Man, he shows up and it's like, okay, it's going to be all right. And everything one day will be better. All right, guys. Well, that was Psalm 91. And uh, this is Life for God here. And I am signing out. I will see you when I see you.